Uh, I appreciate everyone turning out to hear about this program that we have because we're pretty proud of it and we think that pretty much everyone here can take advantage of it. Uh, first of all, Randy, our office manager, is going to help me with the PowerPoint because we don't have a, a clicker here to move forward with it. For those of you who don't know who the Mesquite Regional Business is, I just want to let you know we are a private, non-profit economic development organization and we represent um, the Virgin Valley and Moapa Valley, the communities and the businesses within those communities for uh, Mesquite, Overton, Logandale, Bunkerville, and Moapa. And uh, I'm going to follow Blake's lead and I want members of my board to stay up so I can introduce them, please. Me, you too. Now we're missing two members, but George Galtz, our chairman of the board, Ken Cook is a member of our board, and Dan Wright is our secretary treasurer of the board. Thank you. We also have Dave Balwig is on our board, and you know, of course, I just Roger. Roger. Oh, Roger Ingridson. Thank you. There goes that job. <laughs> hey, you, you're okay to three of them. <laughs> well, they're here. Um, so uh, we work very, very diligently to help businesses grow within this, within our region. We try to bring as many tools as possible. Not only do we make exert. Uh, Tons of exerted effort to recruit businesses to this area, working with our utilities and our other providers on how we can best position the ski to be the next place that they want to grow. We also want to know, we want to make sure that existing businesses grow. To that end, um, we created a revolving loan fund. And I'm um, going to have a whole lot of definition here, but the revolving loan fund was initially put together to help businesses grow, to create jobs. It was to help expand the tax base and to uh, uh, diversify our tax, in, uh, and help our taxes increase. I'm sorry, I'm having a difficult time in this. Um, this revolving loan fund program is just slightly different than others that you may be aware of. This one is a bank participation loan where businesses go to their banks, bankers that they already have a relationship with and talk to them that way. Their bankers know who they are, they know what they can handle, um, and it's not like it's just a brand new loan. It's, you already have the relationship built. And with that, everything, that just like a banker, everything that you share with us, even after a loan is granted, is 100% confidential until you tell us otherwise. Whatever transactions take place, nobody else is going to know but us, the banker, and you unless you want us to tell, tell people that otherwise. Randy, There's several activities that can be used for this type of a loan, and it's pretty much all encompassing that any business might want to have. Uh, acquisition of land, buildings, or leasehold improvements, construction of new buildings, rental of land, buildings, and improvements, renovation of existing buildings, acquisition of machinery, computers, and other equipment necessary for your operations, Payment of professional fees. Now, sometimes when you go to banks, they they want to see tangible assets as collateral. With partnering with our loan, we can actually help you with the fees that you might need for an architect or an environmental engineer or something like that. So professional fees are included. Acquisition of inventory for stock in your stores and working capital. Sometimes businesses just need to get over that little bit of a hurdle. And then anything else that our revolving loan fund committee might be might consider as useful to your business for the project that you're working on. Our revolving loan fund, we control fifty thousand dollars. We received fifty thousand dollars from a USDA RBEG grant. Now this is fifty thousand dollars that we have as a tool to lend to you. And I'm going to go into a lot more depth about how those loans look and what they look like. But we're also, by USDA standards, we're an equal opportunity lender. We don't, uh, we don't uh, discriminate in any way, shape, or form. So why is it called a revolving loan? Most people, when you talk about a revolving loan, you think of the loan that you go to your bank or your credit union, and they set you up with a line of credit, and you use it as you need it, and you pay it back over time. This is what? This is, cons this is totally different. This is a loan that's lent out to existing businesses, and as it's repaid, it goes back into the loan funding, so it can be relent re out again to other businesses. It continually grows like that. And even the interest that's earned on it goes directly back into the revolving loan program. 
none of the money, either the USDA grant or the interest from that, goes to MRB operations. MRB provides all of the administrative work, all of the loan application process, 100% free to the businesses. We do this so the businesses can grow. <coughs> um, the next slide, please. Um, we have five local um, regional, our region members of our board. Uh, on our board right now is Dan Wright, who's Senior Vice President and, and Regional Manager for the Bank of Nevada. We have Ivan Ketterman, who's a CPA with Larson & Company here in town. George Galt, the Chairman of our board, is on that. Vicki Walter from the Chamber is on our Revolving Loan Fund Committee. And Vernon Robins, Robison, who is uh, the owner and editor for the Moapa Valley Progress. And I am the administrator, though I don't have a vote. Okay, now we're going to talk about how this works. Say a company, for instance, your company decides, or the chamber, for instance, needs a new computer. Not like that didn't happen today. <laughs> okay, so you get an estimate, you think it's going to cost you about $1,000. You take a look at the current credit card ratings, and I pulled these numbers yesterday, so these are fairly current, and these are off the internet. And every one of us, every bank or every credit union, or every credit card is going to be slightly different, but these are averages, basically. So credit card rates right now are about 13 to 15 percent and up. That's a lot of interest to pay on thousand dollars. Then you take a look at what a small business lender, uh, financial institutions, they are anywhere from six to 18, but that depends. Again, that's a little asterisk down here. It says depending on the relationship with you have that you have with your banker, because your banker knows you and he knows that you're good for the loan. And it also depends on the collateral that you have. <laughs> and um, the current Wall Street Journal's prime right now is 3.25. What MRB asks back on our interest for the loan is prime minus one. So currently today, that would be 2.25%. So if I get confusing here, please raise your hand here and we'll, we'll talk about it. So you, t you go to the bank and you say, I need to borrow $1,000. And typically, a bank or a financial institution or small business lender will say, we will lend you 90% of value on your new, or we'll lend you 80% of value on a used piece of equipment. And it could be any type of equipment, a new cash register, it could be about anything, a new x-ray machine, whatever. Rob, <laughs> not that we don't have that much money, but. Um, so there's a gap there. There's a hundred to two hundred dollars using the thousand dollars. There's a gap, a finance gap, and you might not have that in your pocket right now. And this is where our revolving loan fund could come into play. We could help you fill that gap by partnering with your financial institution. Next one. Okay. Um, what happens is we talk. You talk to your banker. Your banker talks to us. We talk to the committee, and we think what would be the most optimal use of these funds for the business. And the banker says, well, you know, this business is really trying hard. I think maybe a 50-50 split would be the best for this business. Or if the banking doesn't, if the bank's rules won't allow them to do that, we can negotiate whatever percentage we use to split with the bank on to make sure that you get what you need. Um, so a very simple, you know, best case scenario example that I put out here is the bank says, okay, we're going to do a 50-50 split. The bank will charge you uh, an interest rate of 6% on $500, which would be $16.40. This is one year amortization. Then MRP would charge you 2.25% on $500, and that would be $6.11. So the total interest that you would pay would be $22.51. If you'd gone directly to your financial institution, it would have been at 6%, $32.80. Now granted, this is very, very simple. It's one year, it's $1,000. So when you get into a couple of thousand dollars, and you get into other bigger projects, it's much more. So the, the savings is significantly um, increased. And it's all customizable to what the business would need and the banker would need. What's even better is that you only have to make one payment a month. It's not like you have to pay us and you have to pay him and then you have to pay someone else. What we do is we enter into a participation agreement with a lending organization and our participation agreement will call out what the blended rate would be, what the blended term would be, and how best, uh, if it's an annual payment, balloon payment at the end, or if it's a monthly payment, or whatever it would take, if it's six months. It's all called out in that agreement. And then you only make that payment to the lending officer. You don't pay us and them and everybody else. 
it's all combined into one process. And um, then the small business lender pays us back as they receive the money they pay us, whether it be at the end of the year or whenever the term limit is up. Now Aaron, in his, in his role at the city, has provided a great scenario that I want you to think about. The city has a, re a redevelopment area, and within that redevelopment area, there's a certain amount of funds that's set, by, set aside for businesses to help refer, uh, re to redo their buildings, whether it's a, re a new facade, new signage, or improvements to the building if they're moving into it or expanding. And Aaron, if I misquote you or something, please stand up and take the mic away. Okay. Um, so what we're, what we're trying to do is how can we put the revolving loan fund and the city's redevelopment program together to stretch your dollars? And that was Aaron, that was actually Aaron stretching that dollar. They just thought, let me go back so they can see Aaron again. There you go. <laughs> okay, so this next map, this is the map of all of the areas that are in the redevelopment zone. And businesses within that area are eligible for the redevelopment. South of I-15, thank you Aaron, I knew you were sitting here for a reason, so south of I-15. So keep that in mind, so if you're south of I-15 and you're in all of those areas, those buildings are available to partner with this loan process. Okay, next one. So Aaron has put together a simple scenario as well. So you need $10,000 to improve either the paint or the building or a new door or a new signage on your building or whatever it takes for you to work on your building to reestablish new um, customers or just to draw a different set of customers or open a new business. So $10,000, um, 50% of it, the IDR, uh, IDA will pay, will reimburse. But what has to happen is that you go to the city and get it pre-approved and then you have to do the work before they'll pay you back. Now this is just standard operating process and it's, it's the way that it, that it has to be done. But you need $10,000, so you go to your bank and your bank says, you know what, we'll partner with the RDA, we'll partner with MRB on the revolving loan fund, we'll borrow $10,000, we'll blend the rate, the city will pay you back in three months for your five for $5,000 of your investment, that will pay down the loan right away, and then you will end up paying a significant less amount of money on the interest on that, and a lower amount for your building and leasehold improvements that you have to cover your business to grow anyway. So it's a great partnership. Right, Aaron? It is. Okay. And I put Aaron's, um, Aaron's contact information up there. And uh, of course, everybody knows Aaron. You can call him and ask him about the redevelopment area. Now, what happens if you go to your banker and your banker, for some whatever reason, turns you down? What happens next? We can still partner with you. The Rural Nevada Development Corporation has a revolving loan fund as well. They only lend money to businesses that have been turned down by a banker. They can partner with us and bring down, the, they typically charge a higher interest rate. I'll let you know that right now. But they will partner with us and blend that rate and bring it down again so you're still paying less interest and still get the money that you need to grow your business. So let's recap. How many of you are thinking about doing one of these things for your business? You need some leasehold improvements. You need some working capital. You need to buy a new computer bike. Yes. I'm still um, thinking about it. You're still thinking about it. Um, you know, there's, there's a variety of tools here. There's a variety of options, and it's all customizable to fit your business needs. So we have already spoken to several bankers, right, Jack? Small lending institutions. Bankers is the wrong term. Sorry. Small business lenders. And uh, Dan, is, he's very, very familiar with this pro program. And we just encourage you to um, take advantage of it, take a look at it, see if it will work for you. 